Hey everybody, good afternoon. I am back with you at around 3 p.m. just before on Monday the 17th of July here in Sault Ste. Marie. And you're looking at the Paul R. Trigurther from the Interlake Steamship Company. They are upbound here on what looks like an ominous afternoon, but I think if we get any rain at all, it's not going to be much. There are some definite dark clouds in the sky as you can see straight ahead but we seem to be okay here so far. <clears throat> Polar is upbound right now and in fact we have four upbounders on their way here at the moment. Polar is headed to Superior so they will be getting some coal. Not too far behind them is the Honorable James L. Oberstar. And just for something different, they normally go to Marquette, but they are actually on their way to Duluth. So that's certainly different for them. Behind them is the Federal Montreal. They are also headed to Duluth. And then the Bay St. Paul is behind them. That is from Canada Steamship Lines. And they're going to Thunder Bay. So this is the only four vessels we're going to see for the rest of the day before it gets dark. The next one downbound is the Indiana Harbor and they aren't going to be here until after 11 o'clock tonight. <clears throat> so... There was a salute from the Paul R, from their forward whistle. <clears throat> nice and loud anyway. That nice steam plume you see there. So fortunately for them there's nobody at the locks because the Andine already went down bound, the salty. So the lock will be ready and waiting for them. They'll be able to lock straight through without waiting for anyone. And then there'll be a bit of a lag in behind that, of course. It takes approximately one hour for each vessel to go through. So something the size of the Paul R, which is any of the thousand footers, <coughs> pardon me, it would take about 20 minutes for them to get into the lock. And then once they're in and tied up in place, 20 minutes to either raise or lower them the 21 feet that they need to go up or down to get them to the right water level and then it takes another 20 minutes for them to actually leave and clear the lock so it's about an hour's time from beginning to end if you're a vessel like the honorable james l oberstar and then there's that whole hour plus they then have to drop the lock level down again in order for the Oberstar to go in. So that adds 20 minutes on, and then the gates have to open, and then they start. So it's a solid hour and a half when you have a vessel in front of you before you get to take your turn next. And that's why you'll see them check down, slow down in the river, and not necessarily come all the way up here because they know they're gonna be waiting for a while before it's their turn. The Oberstar, however, is not slowing down because they know that the Paul R will go right into the lock and then they will just tie up on the wall below as close as possible to the gates and that way they'll be there and ready to go as soon as the Paul R leaves. And that does mean there might be room in behind them because they are a shorter vessel. But usually federal ships will float in the uh, harbor. They won't really tie up. So their pilot will take them into the harbor and just have them float and wait. And then as soon as the Oberstar goes in, they'll very slowly make their way forward. The Bay St. Paul is stuck at the back of the pack. They probably won't be going in until after dinner time at this point. 
so we may see them slow down in the river. It may take them a while just to even get to Mission Point because there won't be anywhere for them to go. But those are the four ships coming up for the rest of the day. If you're here in the Sault Ste. Marie area, that's who you're going to see. And then that'll be it until after dark. There goes the Paul R. Safe sailing to everybody aboard. And I'll be back with some more later. Have a good one, everybody. Take care, and bye for now.